So as of yesterday, the Eagles name Jalen Hurts, their starting quarterback, and we have four games left. In all honesty, Jalen Hurts has to start all four of these games, no matter how bad he looks, no matter how good he looks, because we got to figure out, is it Carson Wentz or is it Doug Peterson? And with Jalen Hurts coming in, I feel like Doug is going to have to take a good, long, hard look at his playbook and finally change it up. The Eagles have a chance to beat the Saints if they finally decide to give Miles Sanders the ball. If Miles Sanders has more than 20 touches, we have a chance to beat the Saints. I think he needs to have 18 carries, probably like six receptions. Boston Scott, he needs like six carries and like three receptions for us to have a chance to beat the Saints. Our running backs need to have over 30 combined touches for us to have a chance to beat the Saints. For us to beat them, I feel like Hurts himself will have to carry the ball over seven times. And if he can average at least five a carry, we have a chance to beat the Saints. All I'm saying, if the Eagles are trying to run the ball more than 30 times, they have a chance to beat the Saints. But if Doug refuses to change his playbook and he wants to put, run the ball, uh, if Doug refuses to change his offense and he wants to pass the ball 50 times a game, we're going to continue looking like an awful team. So we got to figure out, is it Doug or is it Carson? Because obviously... Somebody got to go. And right now, I've been saying, Doug got to go. Doug got to go. Doug got to go. So now, we're going to have the chance. We're going to put Jalen Hurts in and see if it's really Doug or Carson. Because when it was Nick Foles, everyone was saying, hey, Carson got to go. But if you check the offense, the offense looked different with Foles. They did different things with Foles than they did with Wentz. If they bring back RPO passes with Hurts, we have a chance. And one know what's so great about the RPO passes? Foles could hand it off. And that's a run play. The linebackers, they stepped up. That's why those slants were open. We run so many play action passes, but we do not run the ball. Doing the play action fake does nothing but slows down the quarterback and gives the D-line time to get upfield. So, if Dougie P wants to run the ball, we have a chance. If he's going to put in Hurts in and still throw the ball 40, 50 times a game, hey. It's over. But hopefully, hopefully Dougie P has a brain and is able to do something. Because this playbook needs a changing. Changing the quarterback isn't going to do anything if we're still not going to run the ball. So help me.